And this time I just said, you know, I want to enjoy my life. <laughs> I love that. Yes. I want to enjoy my life. I want to enjoy being with my friends, mm-hmm. um, writing songs that I want to sing. And, yeah. and I think for the first time, I was able to marry my writer side with my vocal abilities and um, create, you know, this fusion of my Gemini sides. <laughs> wow. She's yeah. a Gemini too. How would you yeah. not know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that you just poured your soul into this record. I was reading some of these rave reviews that you're receiving for this album. You have such soul, such mm, heart and soul. Now, uh, where did all this soul come from? Who, who influences mm. you musically that makes you growl well, like that? Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I grew up in a household where my entire family loves music mm-hmm. so they're all blasting you know their own music yeah. in various corners of the house mm-hmm. and um my mom was really into elvis and the beatles yeah my dad was into aretha franklin otis redding jackie wilson otis Haley jackson yeah um he actually wanted to name my brother otis that would been cool <laughs> and then my my brother was into the rock and roll so he was cranking the Doobie Brothers, Pink Floyd. Wow, eclectic um, household. Yeah, um, and then I played sax, so I was listening to Charlie Parker, and yet I was also cranking ACDC. And mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, my sister's the only one that didn't really inherit the uh, the, the uh-huh. taste factor in the music, but she's getting better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's going to whoop me when she hears this. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we, we definitely had a lot of different uh, influences. My grandmother was listening to Tony Bennett and Frank Sinatra, so... I, I definitely had an eclectic uh, yeah. household, musically speaking. And we would crank the music and just dance in the living room. That was our That's best beautiful. times. So music is cathartic. It does heal for you. That is where you run to. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. Wow. Most definitely. I think, um, I think music has really saved me. I mm-hmm. mean, you know, there were a lot of um, stressful times in my life that I just thought, you know, this is overwhelming. But... I can't imagine not having music to be my place of solace and on every mm-hmm. level, you know. And now your music has become that for us. Oh, Did you know thank that? you. Thank we you. That's wanna, very kind. We want to race against the sky when Thanks. we listen to your music. I'd like to share a little mm-hmm. bit of it with the Satin Lounge, if I may. Is oh, all right please. with you? Yes. Um, I want to go into this. Album. Let's crack this open. I'm in my crate right now. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, this first track is called uh, Hello Beauty. She's dedicating that to you, Satin Lounge. Just beautiful. <laughs> I love that song. Who are you specifically talking to in this record? Uh, I wrote that song when I was pregnant with my daughter. Mm-hmm. And then she came out and, you know, the, the ideas were floating around while I was pregnant. And then she popped out and I looked at this little person and then all those ideas just came together. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's so many songs that you dedicate to your family. I mean, it's yeah. etched out there for you musically. I love that. Um, but, you know, definitely, I I like people to make their own stories, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> to let it be the soundtrack to whatever experience you Absolutely. I, I knew you were talking to me, girl. I knew you were calling me beautiful. I That's felt right. that. Satin Lounge. I hope you guys are naked. Oh, You're right. beautiful. Naked. <laughs> they are. <laughs> you look real, real good. <laughs> There's another favorite song of mine that's on this record, and I pray to God that you guys decide to uh, release it as a single. It's the title track from this record, Race Against the Sky. It's just the mood or the energy is just, I don't know, it's scrumptious to me. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly. <laughs> you guys have got to release that as a single for me, okay? 
definitely, definitely. You've already described what that means, what is racing against the sky, you know, braiding those beautiful moments together in your life. And I love how you articulated that through song. It's just, oh, God, it's one of my favorites oh, on you. on your album. Um, and that's actually, um, I wrote that song uh, with Jen Lee. And then it just, it's one of those tunes that you don't know if it's going to be a good song or a bad song till mm-hmm. you get in the studio. And mm-hmm. I really feel like the guys brought it to life. You know, Gabriel mm-hmm. Moses, he's um, he's been a huge part of this record. And he was featured in Guitar Player Magazine when he was 13 years old. Wow. So he's really he's super talented. But he's like yeah. the most humble person. And he is one of the uh, composers on Parenthood mm-hmm. and White Collar. He does the music for those shows. Oh, okay. So... Uh, and then the other guitar player is Bruce Watson, who's out with Foreigner. Okay. I may never get Bruce back again. <laughs> He's been so busy with Foreigner. They did 180 shows this year. Wow. Um, I have Herman Matthews from Tower Power on drums, mm-hmm. who just has a thing, you know? Yeah. He just has this way of playing that, as a singer, you feel like you're surfing a wave. Mm-hmm. And you can pick the front or the back side of the wave. I can feel that in this song. Yo, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, he, uh, he definitely has a magic. And... And the bass player is um, from Tom Jones mm-hmm. and Jimmy Buffett. So, wow. um, and then on a lot of the record, we had Lenny Castro. He came in and played percussion. He, mm-hmm. He's been with the Rolling Stones for many years, mm-hmm. and Tom Petty. Star studded. Come on, wow! Yeah. And then I had all my friends show up to be the choir on Bang a Drum. Wow! And yeah, it was a it was a drunken night of of uh, caterwauling. It was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Had a few glasses of wine and ate some food and went in there and everybody sang beautifully. Oh,